Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a quick video on what to do when you first get your brand new Tyler. Uh, I've noticed over the last few months that uh, once in a while a guy would get a guitar and they would take the guitar out and the action was a little high so they just automatically start turning the bridge down. That's definitely not what you want to do the first time. So what I'm going to do is walk you through uh, a way to get closer before you start doing any of those kind of adjustments. The only way you get to this video is if you already got the sheet in your case. So this is a very impromptu, uh, really quick video on how to get your neck adjusted the way we want it adjusted. Then you can decide if you want the action up or down from there. So when you get your guitar, pop it open. There's your guitar standing off for a minute or two, you know, and then once you pull it out uh, in, in the small case, we put all your wrenches. Your trem arm is in there, your wrenches for adjusting the bridge and your truss rod. And now we're including a millimeter uh, scale. We call it a scale, but it's a ruler. So a millimeter scale. One thing I should say is, is that this isn't just for some people. This is for everybody. Um, if you pull the guitar out and you do these measurements and it's ready to go, great. But you should check it before uh you do anything or if it comes out playing great and you like how it plays roll with it but this is how you check to see if the neck is in the place that we intended you to have it so i got the ruler the truss rod ready to go let me give you a little background so the reason you want to adjust the neck and i know a lot of you are probably like adjust the neck i've never adjusted necks before i'm scared to adjust necks you're supposed to adjust necks it's the only thing i do on on my instruments uh, after the action is set, it's literally the only thing I'll do for months and months, if not year into years. The only time that you have to adjust the saddles really is is uh, if just from vibration and normal playing over months and months, they raise and lower. But what changes all the time, no matter where you live, is the neck. Um, and what happens, it's less so on a, on a maple neck like I'm going to show you here. But what happens is the fingerboard on a rosewood neck, especially in an ebony, is, is we, we, we put some stuff on the fingerboard called Nelsonite and that kind of locks it in. But it still can absorb moisture. So what happens is the moisture absorbs and it pushes back on the neck. The maple doesn't... Uh, uh, absorb because it's finished but th this side isn't so it can push and pull if it dries out it can pull forward so I've sent guitars to guys and like I, I said earlier the neck will bow forward now imagine we've we, we said it fairly straight you're going to see in a moment fairly straight so this is an exaggeration but imagine this is your strings now in, in shipping it dries and, and it pulls forward and now the action is too high. So what some guys have been doing is then lowering your action and what you're doing is you're lowering it right into buzzing. And what you want to do is straighten the neck. So I thought, hey, what if we include a millimeter scale with every guitar? Because we send you an Allen wrench on purpose and Jim spent many years working with hip shot we have a hex truss rod nut and plenty of room for you to put that in there and it's not for your tech it's for you you don't need to be scared of it just try stuff because you can always put it back you're not going to be like cranking on it two or three times you're just going to be going little quarter turns maybe eighth of a turn so what you want to do is pull the guitar out and we're going to do some close-ups but i'm just going to go straight through it myself and then we'll go back and we'll do some close-ups so pull out your millimeter scale when we measure the neck we have a tool that we put on the fingerboard that actually measures the, the tops of the frets uh, to a certain place and so we know what number we're looking for that's not going to matter to you guys but we measure in the middle of the neck so what you want to do is you want to take this millimeter scale and you want to check for me i need to throw on the glasses because i'm old uh, you want to check with the uh, with the back side and see where it's at like this right here it's at 1.75 and then you want to check the d string which is a slightly higher than two what you want our action that we set is basically two 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 almost two i should say on the g and then one and a half and one and a half on the b and the e um, jim has a philosophy and if you look at our guitars out of the box 
you'll you'll see the tops of the strings have a nice flow to it because he thinks that it, it's about feel like your fingers want to feel like they're touching the strings in the same height off of the fingerboard so two 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 almost two one and a half one and a half well you want to measure the d and the high e and see where they're at because the d you want right at two and that's easy to see and then the e is to just kind of check it to have another place to kind of check it and, and it also one and a half is really easy to see on here once we do the close-ups you'll see what you're looking for so in this case it's a it's a little bit high inside the neck is a truss rod the truss rod is shaped like this in the neck when you tighten it it pulls it the truss rod is trying to pull straight and it pushes the neck back and when you loosen it it lets the neck forward so if you think about it as righty tighty lefty loosey if you loosen it up the neck goes forward and it and if you did it you know to the extreme you know the strings would get looser and it would bow forward and if you pull it back they're going to get tighter and it's going to pull the strings so kind of think of it that way uh, lefty loosey righty tighty so in this case it's a little bit bowed forward so i'm just going to take my handy little truss rod tool carefully stick it in you'll get the hang of it there'll be a place where it goes in don't worry about it if it's at this angle just push it as far as you can be careful of the of the uh, pick guard and then switch over and i've done this many times so i kind of know how far i need to go so it's about a quarter of a turn and then check it you can even leave it in there boom one and a half two another thing you want to do is put your first finger at the first fret and your pinky right on the 12th fret so you're making a bridge between the first fret and the 12th fret with this string and you want it to be where it's just slightly bowed forward so there's just a little bit of space and that's where i have it right now where there's just a little bit of space it's almost the same as the space that we leave for the nut if you hold down at the at the second fret and you push down at the nut you'll see there's just a little bit of space between the string and the uh, fingerboard that's the two different ways so you want to check it with the one and a half and the two on the d string and then kind of eyeball it and honestly like out in the in the real world this is to get you started i'm sending the millimeter scale because then you can definitely know that you have it kind of where we want it but for me uh, once you get it and it's set and you like how it plays then what you need to do is if you go to a gig and it feels like your action's high just grab your truss rod uh, tool tighten it up a little bit and then play or if it gets pushed back and it feels a little buzzy just loosen it up and then just play and go kind of according to your feel and i think if you do some of this stuff you'll get way more in the ballpark of what we intended when when we shipped it to you so that you'll have a real good happy first experience with your guitar out in the real world so uh, feel free to email me info at Tyler Guitars if you have any questions about the video. Um, this is going to be an unlisted video just for you guys to find. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys out.